based on the concepts that we have learned so far we are going to do few sums on this decimal concept clear so shall we begin children okay so here is your first question why do we write the zero in 0.2 the options are to remind us that the number is less than 1 option b to remind us that the number is greater than 1 option c because it has no value the option d none of these okay so what is the question asking us why do we write zero in 0.2 so what is the answer children 0.2 how can you write it in the fractional way 0.2 can be written as 2 by 10 right so it reminds us that whenever we put a zero and a point so anything which is after the decimal point which means that the concerned value is less than the given number right so here it is 0.2 so which means that it reminds us that the number is less than 1 because the whole number figure is zero here okay so when it is given as zero which means that the value of that number is lesser than 1 clear shall we move to the next one okay the next question is 1.2 minus 0.6 is equal to dash the options are 2.7 minus 2.1 option b 5.2 minus 4.5 option c 7.3 Minus six point five, and option D. Five point zero minus four point three. Okay, so we need to subtract all the values and find out which of these answer matches with the difference value of the question asked. Okay, so coming to the first one, one point two minus zero point six. okay so let us figure out what is the answer of this one so 2 is lesser than 6 right so we will be borrowing so 12 12 minus 6 is 6 so this is 0 and here it is 0 so the answer is 0.6 so this is 0.6 that is my answer now i have to see that which of these questions has the value 0.6 clear so coming to the first one 2.7 minus 2.1 okay so 7 minus 1 is 6 2 minus 2 is 6 so this also has a value of 0.6 clear is it clear children so shall we move to the next one okay so coming to the next question the question says which of the following is equal to 
five by hundred. Okay, your options are option A five, option B zero point five, option C zero point zero five, and option D zero point zero zero five. Okay. So let's try to find out what is the value of five by hundred. So five divided by hundred. Is it possible to divide five by hundred? No. So I am going to put a decimal over here. Add a zero here. So will fifty get divisible by hundred? No. I am going to put here one more zero and then add a zero at the back. So is it divisible by five hundred? Yes. So it will be divided by 505 times. So, my answer will be 0 0.05. Where do you find it? Yes, this is option C. Clear? Shall we move to the next one? Okay. The next question is add 32.6 plus 12.6 plus 14.8. Okay, the options are A45, B87, C54 and D78. Okay, so they have asked us to find out the value of the given figures. Okay, so 32.6 plus 12.6 plus 14.8. So, 6 plus 6, 12. 12 plus 8, 20. Very good. So, this is carry forward here. So, 2 plus 2, 4. 4 plus 2, 6. 6 plus 4, 6 plus 4 is how much? 10. Plus 1. I am sorry children, this is 41.8, okay? 41.8. Okay, so here it will become as 41.8. Fine. So, this will also be changed. So, 6 plus 6, 12. 12 plus 8, 20. Plus 2. 2 plus 2, 4. 4 plus 2, 6. 6 plus 1, 7. 3 plus 1, 4, 4 plus 4, 8. So, it is 87.0. Where do you find it? Yes, this is option C. Clear? Shall we move to the next one? Okay. The next question is 7 by 10 is to 0 0.7. Then dash is to 0 0.07. Okay. And your options are 7 by 10. Option B, 7 by 100. Option C, 0 0.7. And option D, 7 by 1000. Fine. So, now the question says, if 7 by 10 can be written as 0 0.7, then what will be written as 0 0.07? So, what did we learn children? If the after decimal, if it is one value, then it is divisible by 10. If it is two values, then it is divisible by 100. Very good. So, what will be the answer? Yes, it will be 7 by 100. Clear? Shall we move to the next question? 